A question I get all the time is how does pass-through authentication really work in a hybrid Azure Active Directory topology? Well, folks, you come to the right place because I'm going to explain to you exactly how it works. At a high level, pass-through authentication is when you go to log into an application, whether it's Microsoft, on-premises, or a third-party cloud app, and rather than authenticating directly against Azure Active Directory, it passes you through and into the Windows Server Active Directory environment to let you authenticate against an actual domain controller, and then it passes it back up the chain again. That's really what we're talking about. All right, well, how does this work? Well, as a prerequisite for this, users need to be provisioned into Azure Active Directory from an on-premises Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Connect. Pass-through authentication does not apply to cloud-only users, so just keep that in mind. Okay, when a user tries to sign into an application that's behind Azure Active Directory, maybe it's a third-party app, maybe it's on-premises app, maybe it's Office 365, and if pass-through authentication is enabled on the tenant, then the following occurs. Okay, the user tries to sign into that application. Let's take, for example, Outlook Web App. If the user is not already signed in, the user is redirected to the Azure Active Directory user sign-in page. The user enters their username and password into Azure Active Directory sign-in page and then clicks Next. The user enters that password into the Azure Active Directory sign-in page and then they click Sign In. All right, now that they're signed in, Azure Active Directory on receiving that request places the username and password, which is encrypted using the public key of the authentication agents, into a queue. An on-premises authentication agent retrieves the username and encrypted password from the queue. Now, that agent doesn't frequently pull for requests from the queue, but retrieves requests or a pre-established persistent connection. The agent decrypts the password using its private key. The agent validates the username and password against Active Directory by using standard Windows APIs, which is a similar mechanism to what Active Directory Federation Services, or ADFS, uses. The username can be either the on-premises default username, usually the UPN or user principal name, or another attribute configured in Azure Active Directory Connect, which can also be known as the alternate ID. The on-premises Active Directory Domain Controller evaluates that request and returns the appropriate response, whether that's a success, failure, password expired, or the user's locked out, back to the agent. And then the authentication agent, in turn, returns this response back to Azure Active Directory. And then Azure Active Directory evaluates that response and responds to the user as appropriate. So for example, Azure Active Directory either signs a user in immediately or it requests for multi-factor authentication or it takes advantage of conditional access or identity protection or any of those features. And lastly, if the user signed in is successful, then the user can access the application. All right, I hope this helped to clear up any confusion. Go back, watch this again, listen to what I tell you, look at the slide, go out and read the documentation, lab it up, learn what you can, and have fun. Take care, everybody. See you in the next video.